Israel has been illegally building settlements on Palestinian land for decades. It has forcibly removed hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from their land and Israeli settlers have moved in. To be clear, these actions constitute war crimes. But shockingly and unbelievably, the world's leading digital tourism companies all promote settlements as tourist destinations. Airbnb, Booking.com, Expedia and TripAdvisor all list hotels, B&Bs, attractions and tours in settlements. For example, the world's single most visited travel website, which is TripAdvisor, provides a listing of the archaeological site of Susia. This is a tourist attraction managed by settlers. It also lists trips to a winery and vineyard in an Israeli settlement next door. We went there a few months ago and saw that Susia was in fact once home to a 300-strong Palestinian community. In 1986, the Israeli government declared the village land an archaeological site and forcibly evicted the Palestinians from their homes without compensation. They now live in tents in what remains of their original land and they face constant harassment from the settlers and the Israeli authorities. This is a violation of their human right to adequate housing. Similar stories can be found across all of the occupied Palestinian territories. You can book visits to settler-run attractions in occupied East Jerusalem, rent holiday accommodation in settlements across the West Bank, and you can even learn to train with Israeli soldiers on occupied Palestinian land. In doing business with the settlements, all four of these companies are contributing to and profiting from the maintenance, the development and the expansion of illegal settlements. They are contributing to human rights violations and are acting in direct contradiction with their own corporate standards. Expedia has said that they appreciate Amnesty International bringing its concerns on this complex issue to our attention. Booking.com has stated that by marking properties concerned as being in Israeli settlements, we provide transparency to anybody looking or not looking for accommodation in these territories. Airbnb and TripAdvisor haven't responded to our statements. But in November 2018, Airbnb did announce that they were going to withdraw listings from Susia and other settlements in the West Bank. However, they haven't yet implemented this decision. And worryingly, Airbnb also said that they would continue to advertise homes in illegal Israeli settlements in occupied East Jerusalem. The simple fact is that settlements are on stolen Palestinian land. They shouldn't be tourist destinations and no one should be making a profit from them.